Hey guys! So, just so you know, to address the headdress, my hair looks so bad, so I'm not going to put it on camera. So, before we get started with this video, I actually want to ask for your opinion because I have decided to branch a little bit further than just regular story times on my channel. So, I really enjoy cooking and baking, so I actually really want to make my first baking tutorial or cooking tutorial, whichever one you guys choose. Here are your guys' choices? Individual cheesecakes? a strawberry cake with strawberry frosting, or two other choices are cooking ideas, so these are actual meals. One is orange chicken or pizza bread, which is more like an appetizer, but still really, really, really good. So those are your four choices. Let me know either in the comments down below, tweet them to me, or even message me on Facebook and let me know which one do you want to see for my first cooking tutorial. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. As you can see in the title down below, this video is going to be all about my nostalgia childhood. It's going to be about videos and with a few TV shows sprinkled into the mixture that I used to watch when I was a kid, that I loved watching when I was a kid. And some are really obscure that no one has ever heard of. And some are very, some movies are were really weird. And, I'm just gonna start listing them off and if you actually remember any of these, if you're around my age, comment down below and let me know which ones you do remember. And if you're younger, I suggest you watch all of these, <laughs> except for the TV shows because clearly they're not on anymore. Here we go. Brace Face. Fern Gully. Such a good movie, Fern Gully. Everyone should watch Fern Gully. The Secret of Nim. Such a dark, beautiful, beautiful animation film. He, um, what's his name? Don Bluth. He's amazing. Like, you have to see that movie. This one I always thought was called Musette because of the main character. But no, it's called Gay Perry. It's actually really good. I love the style that it was drawn in. It's such a cute animation. And it actually gets a little dark at some point. It's like, it's really, really good. I really love the style. And to any of my fellow artists out there watching, I would definitely suggest you guys watch this. It might actually inspire you to branch out in a different art style if you draw. Just saying. Oh, the Big Comfy Couch. Oh, I love this show. I actually have a Molly doll still downstairs. She's probably collecting dust, and I feel really bad now. Such a good show. I love it. And actually, for any parents out there that might watch it, actually makes kids highly less chance of being scared of clowns. So I would suggest to go watch them. There's actually episodes on YouTube here, so I would suggest to watch some episodes. Once Upon a Forest, such a great, great, and really good lesson in making sure that nature is being taken care of and protected. It's such a good movie. Yes, definitely a must watch. Donkey Kong Country, The Legend of the Crystal Coconut. So good, I still have that VHS and I actually still watch it till this day because Donkey Kong is awesome. A Donkey Kong is amazing. Enough said. Oh, The Hobbit. This is actually really cool because since like the actual live action film The Hobbit is so mainstream, Lord of the Rings, everyone knows Lord of the Rings and loves it most, most, of, most of the time, they love it. But The Hobbit, the animated film, that is so cool. Like, again, the art style, the music, oh, it's amazing, it's so good. And, oh, just when I was little, the only thing I remember bad about this movie is Gollum. I freaking hated Gollum in that movie because he's so creepy looking. He looks like a little fish creature person. Ugh. But I still like this movie and I would just like fast forward through the parts that he was in it when I would watch it as a kid because I just couldn't stay away from that film. It was just so good. I had to watch it even though I hated him. Oh, to anyone out there who... <laughs> the 90s was their childhood, you will know. The Power Rangers movie. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh, with Ivan Ooze, the most badass villain ever. So awesome. Now this is one that's definitely, I definitely know it's obscure because every time I bring it up to friends that like are like, oh yeah, like I knew that movie, but no one else knows of this. No one knows this one. The Ketchup Vampires. I loved this movie when I was a kid. I freaking loved it because there was like so much drama and then it got really dark and it was just really cool and like the, the style was kind of more 80s and 90s but I really enjoyed this movie. It was so cool. I was actually really really devastated because we had a flood in my basement and it got ruined and I actually cried because I was really sad because I really liked that movie and I wanted to keep it for nostalgia purposes but unfortunately, long glass. 
it is gone. Rip ketchup vampires. Ooh, this next one is actually a two-parter. It's Disney's Donald Duck's Scary Tales and Disney's Halloween Haunts. Both of them, they're so good. They're so amazing. Like, I still watch them. It's my tradition to watch them every Halloween. I love them. Pippi Longstocking. I love this movie. Again, it was like one that just in passing, like I always stumbled across these movies because I would just go to like the video store and just pick random rent rentable movies and just watch them. And I, I came across Pippi Longstocking in this one and I loved it. It was so good. So cute. Great story because she was by herself and like there was like so much craziness happening in that film. Another Halloween tradition I must watch every Halloween and Garfield's Halloween Adventures. So good. Just brings back memories and it's so funny. Anyone who does not watch Garfield should. It will brighten your day. It will just make you smile and laugh. It's it's funny. It actually still makes me laugh even though I could like pretty much quote the whole episode by heart. It still makes me laugh to this day. And this one was during Disney's like it was how do they phrase it? I read this somewhere. That was during like a dark time when Disney had so many dark films come out. The Black Cauldron. So awesome. I loved that movie. I was such a creepy little child, I swear, because I was always like things that really I really loved and just struck a chord within me were things that were on the brink of be between being scary and intri intriguing. Like it was because in that film my favorite part was the horned king. He was a straight up skeleton. He was the evil villain. He was he was downright evil. He just wanted to bring back his army of the undead and that was my favorite scene is when he does because you see all this green mist come across and you see all these like corpses and skeletons like just rise up. That was my favorite part even as a child. Like I guess that I was a creepy child but I can't help it. Bella Mascalis. See? This is also a Disney one, but it was on the brighter side. Uh, it was Fantasia. This one's not very obs more obscure. This one's not too obscure. Everyone has heard of Fantasia. However, the obscure part is that my favorite scene in that film was the final score that they, that they did was um, Night on Bald Mountain. That was my favorite scene. That amazing like gargoyle. Like I guess he was like the devil, or whatever. Like he would like have these people like dancing in flames. And have all the spirits and ghosts come around. That was my favorite part. Again, it was like, I should be scared of this, but I can't look away. Like, it's so amazing, and I just can't stop looking at the screen. And I kind of want to watch it again. Oh, the BFG. Oh, I say it with such excitement because I'm so happy that they did a live action version of it. I could not believe, like, the high pitched squeak of when I found out they were doing a live action because I loved this VHS one so much. Oh my god. The animation style, which was, I think, which is a little similar to like The Hobbit with like the big rounded noses and um, the detail and like the skin and everything and not making everything so beautiful. I loved it. I absolutely fell in love with it. And then even like the Wiz Pop song, if anyone has seen it, you guys know it. I loved it too. Mm such a good movie. I actually bought it on DVD because my VH tape was not working that well. That's how much I love my nostalgia. I will replace all my VHS's with DVDs if they've made them. This is another TV show that's not on anymore sadly. The Boom Bafu. So good. Amazing. It was so so good. This was a very weird film. My Pet Monster. It was so bizarre. I can't even begin. So basically it's like a boy who goes on a trip to a museum and gets cursed so he turns into like this monster which looks like a muppet like a rejected muppet and then his sister is like trying to like help him get cured it's so confusing but I really liked it for some reason when I was a kid. So yeah, my pet monster. Another bizarre, bizarre movie. Pet Shop. Okay, when I was a kid I was watching it, I'm like, okay, I've seen weird things in films, again, like My Pet Monster and other ones too. So I'm like, I'm on board with this, this is cool, like, this is so weird, and I loved it. Until it got to the ending. Okay. I don't want to spoil the ending for anyone, so if anyone wants to watch Pet Shop, go ahead. But I'm just like, really? Really? I still like this. Oh, another one that I still have on VHS that I will 
keep watching until it breaks down to me and I will cry. The Princess and the Goblin. Oh my god, so good. Again, the art style, the music. Oh my gosh, just amazing. Just amazing. I loved this movie. And I still love this movie for some reason. Like, it's so good. Little Nemo. This is so far from Finding Nemo, and it's so beautifully done. Definitely a highly recommended. I would actually probably categorize it closer to like almost an anime movie, even though it's not anime style. I would suggest, I would definitely categorize it to that because just the, um, the straight up creativity, it's amazing. Three Ninjas, so cheesy but good. Ah, such a classic. Great, great movie. Three Ninjas and then a sequel, Three, three Ninjas Kick Back. So good. And there's also a third one, Three Ninjas Knuckle Up. So good. An American Tale. Oh, oh the feels. That movie just, it, it just, it really burned like a memory in my head when I was watching as a kid. I was just like, there's no way I'm never running away from my, my home because he, that, that mouse went through so much. Uh, when he was away from his family. That is a good movie to show to your kids. I swear. A Kid in King Arthur's Court. This is one that not many people know about. Like, I've never met someone who's known or seen A Kid in King Arthur's Court when they were a kid, and I love this film. Quest for Camelot. Amazing. Just straight up amazing. The music, the animation, I keep saying those things, but it's true. I promise you. It's so good. Quest for Camelot is another one I still watch to this day. Got on DVD. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. The Indian and the Cover. Amazing. Like, I don't even know if it's based off a book or not. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. But, oh my god. Just the originality and the concept of like having a magic cupboard. It was, it just blew my mind. Like, again, that was another little tragedy. That one got flooded, ruined in the flood too. And I need to find a DVD to replace it. With the Page Master. Oh my god. Such Again, the way it was animated, it is gorgeous. Like, I'm not even joking. And the fact that it was like one of those like special like special finds in the 90s of when they combined live action with animation. It's such a good movie. I still watch it to this day and I really love that movie. And I swear my child will watch it in the future because it is so good. Cats don't dance. Oh my god. Such <laughs> it was so funny and so cool. Like it's just, I only I don't know what to describe. How to describe it? I love it, and I love that the villain is like this little girl who is so pure evil. It's insane. That is a great movie too. Swan Princess. This one I still have again, and I still watch, and my kid will watch too. I like this one because when I got older, I actually realized that. The Swan Princess was based is like a depiction of the actual famous ballet Swan Lake. What? This was like a favorite when I was younger, but then when I got older, I saw Black Swan and I'm like, wait a minute, why does that villain in the ballet Rothbart sound so familiar to me? I'm like, oh, Swan Princess, that was the villain. Holy shit. I could not believe that this kid film that I loved when I was a kid it was actually based off the actual ballet. Kazam! Okay, I know a lot of critics and a lot of people say this movie is stupid. I personally loved Kazam when I was younger and still now today. It was actually starring Shaq who was actually kind of awesome and funny in that movie. I really liked that movie. It was really, really good. So good. And he's actually playing as a genie, so hope that piques your interest enough to go see it. Last but not least, this show was my life as a kid. Pepper Ann, oh my god. It would come every day on Saturday morning cartoons and I freaking loved it. And you know why I loved it? One of the main reasons? The opening song. This song was like freaking rock out, jam out, like, you know what? I gotta show you. Hold on.
I freaking love that show. Oh my god, it was such a good show. It was so cool. You just got a peek into what my childhood was like. I really hope that you guys enjoy this one. I know it's a little bit different from the story times I do usually. And again, let me know about that cooking tutorial or baking tutorial, whichever one you guys pick. Again, leave comments down below. Tell me what to bake or cook in the next video. And then also anything that you guys have nostalgia that you may ask if I've seen. I would love to hear your suggestions because there were so many that I know I've forgotten. So leave those down in the comments below. And also hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you for those who have subscribed to me. Thank you so much. I love you. You guys are awesome. I am so excited that you guys are on this journey with me, creating my channel and helping it grow. So yep, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!